I think in terms of the way the team interacted, it really varied over time because I've had some experiences with some teams where at the beginning they didn't feel, I didn't feel like they were bonding at all and there was huge divides between um, the in-country volunteers and the UK volunteers. But um, over time that can completely change and it can turn on its head completely. So it really changes through time. Um, like both my teams, I feel really proud of them and I feel that we really overcame some difficulties and some challenges throughout their 10 weeks within the projects and living and working together. But it definitely has its ups and its downs and personality clashes, um, but you always manage to figure it out and work together and get through the hard times and help each other. I think having a counterpart is a really unique part of the ICS experience and I think it's a really important part because it really teaches you a lot about the culture that you're trying to integrate yourself in this means you've always got someone to ask those questions to. I do however think it's one of the most challenging parts of the experience as well because it is intense to spend that much time with one other person and there's not many times in your life that you have to do that um, and naturally in any human relationship you will have tensions. Um, and when you have to work together, it's hard, it is really tough, but I think um, I wouldn't have changed a thing. I think it's one of the most rewarding things that we can do. One of the key things that I learned as a team leader is what it really takes to make a team thrive and the different qualities that individual volunteers have to have to make the team, to make the group function and work really well. Um, and I learned that those qualities can be not necessarily what you might think. Like they can, even if your contribution is just uh, being able to boost the morale of the group and make a joke and make everyone laugh when everyone's feeling a bit sad, then that's actually a really important role to play within the team. I learned a number of different things, um, but one of the main things that I think I'll really take back from being a team leader at ICS is not to judge people by your first impressions of them. Um, the people that I had in my teams that I thought would be the most difficult and that I would be least likely to get along with have actually become the people that I have the best relationships with.